In this video, I wanna share with you guys how I turn $10 into $40 and why this concept is super awesome and why I've been simply addicted to it and stuck with it for nearly a decade now. Uh, those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katu and I'm the founder of BJK University, a company with a mission to impact 1 million lives. Now, this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing and also let us know in the comment section what you'd like to see from this channel in the future. So. Very early on, 2015, when I lost my restaurant and I came online and I was looking at all kinds of opportunities online, trying to you know, start a business online, it was just mind boggling to me the fact that I can buy something for a price and then sell it online for four times what I bought it for. I still remember it was right around you know, November, December of 2015 where I found this doll um, at a local store and I was able to buy that doll for about $15 and sell it for nearly $60 on Amazon four times more than what I bought it for. Now, those of you that are watching just for a, a you know, uh, for the purposes of this video, do know I'm not profiting the additional 75%. Usually I br like to break them into four different pieces. So you've got 25% that goes to the cost of the product, 25% goes to Amazon usually, their fees, their, their, you know, their uh, uh, um, storage fees, their FBA fees, all, all that stuff. 25% usually goes to customer acquisition costs, which is like advertising and so on. And then the last 25% is usually your profit. So usually whatever you buy the product for is about how much you will profit from every sale. But no other business do I know that you could actually sell a product for four times what you bought it for without you involved in the day-to-day. -day. Now, when I operated a restaurant, my profits were between 18 to 23 percent so around the same that quarter uh concept however i needed to go out and shop for the food i needed to prep the food i needed to store it serve it and someone needed to clean it after the customer in order for me to generate a sale where with amazon i simply contact suppliers that are overseas using my computer my suppliers directly ship the product to amazon's warehouses Amazon stores the product in their warehouses. When a customer purchases the product, Amazon picks a product off the shelf, packs it, and delivers it to the customer. And if there is anything problem with the customer did not receive it, there was a, you know, a piece was missing or broken or whatever, customer is not gonna call me. The customer is gonna call Amazon and Amazon's customer service is gonna take care of that and that's why they take that 25%. So it's very justified because at the end of all this, you're still leaving home with 25% in net profits. And trust me, 25% in net profits is completely reasonable and it's actually really high for any, not just the retail business, but really any type of business. Airline businesses, profits only 3%. Right, your traditional, um, you know, retail businesses profit anywhere between 15 to 20 percent, and they have to do the work. They have to, you know, lease offices or or stores. They have to pay the rent. They're liable even if their business fails, and they have a lease for three years. And that was me. I had a lease for five years, and my restaurant burned down at year three. My my landlord kicked me out and sued me for the rent, the monthly rent for the next two years, and I had to pay that later because. I was simply, I signed a lease saying that, you know, whether if my business operates or not, whether if I make money or not, I'm still liable for that business for, or for paying rent for the next five years, right? So again, if you're enjoying this video so far, drop in the comment sections, but most importantly, smash the thumbs up button and let us know that you, you know, what exactly more you'd like to see from this uh, channel. There are a couple more things that I wanna share with you guys in this video, but before I do that, Below this video, there's gonna be a link that's gonna take you to a short presentation that walks you through exactly how BJK University has helped thousands of entrepreneurs launch businesses on Amazon and how we can help you as well. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out that link. But one very important thing that I want to share with you guys in this video is the fact that the power of Amazon is so amazing because Amazon contributes or is responsible for over 53% of all online sales. You see, one thing that usually a startup business struggles with is bringing customers. Any startup entrepreneur, doesn't matter what business they have, whether if they are creating a new, um, a new software, they're, you know, they've invent, invent, invented a new product, whatever they're delivering a service, whatever it is that they're doing, 
Usually the entrepreneur starts a business because they're passionate about something, because they want to deliver a product, because they want to deliver a service, because they invented something, they thought of something cool. But trying to get people over to your store, to your website, to your page, to whatever it is, to your location and get them to buy is, the, is like 90% of the battle. But being on Amazon takes care of all that because customers are already going to Amazon to buy. In fact, 130 million plus people every single year are spending on average $1,200 on Amazon buying products. When was the last time you bought anything that was off of Amazon? I know for me, every time I think of something, the very first thing that comes to mind is I just go to Amazon and I see if Amazon actually is selling or there is something selling on that. And the cool thing about Amazon is when you go there, there is variety of stuff, right? And that's the awesome thing about it is that it's not just one or two or five or 10 people. And you might say, but Bashar, doesn't that create competition because there are tens of sellers selling the same stuff? Yes, that does. But what that does, it also creates variety to the customers, which means more customers are going to keep coming back. And because there is so much demand on Amazon, maybe a customer is not going to, is going to come on Amazon today and then buy from your competition. But next time they're going to come and buy from you, right? Because they're always going to keep coming back to Amazon because Amazon offers so much variety. So having variety and having competitors is actually not a bad thing. It's a good thing because more and more customers are inclined to come to Amazon and buy from Amazon than any other places. Outside of that, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this content. Again, let us know in the comment sections what more you'd like to see from this channel, but most importantly, help us out by smashing that thumbs up button. And lastly, below this video, there is a link that takes you to a short presentation that walks you through how BJK University can help you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.